would you uh, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, Mr. Wazza of the Delaware? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Ms. Wadford. This is the City of Romulus City Council regular meeting for September 28th, 2020. Uh, Mr. Chair, roll call was taken at our special meeting that was held at 630 and we have a quorum for our regular council meeting. Uh, let the record show that all members of city council are present. This meeting is being held electronically via the Zoom meeting app. Tonight's meeting ID number is 856-87. 47-1069. For those who would like to dial in, dial 646-558-8656. Enter the meeting ID number followed by the pound sign. At this time, we will have the reading of the agenda. Number one, agenda. Number two, minutes. Number three, petitioner. Number four, chairperson's report, five, mayor's report, six, clerk's re report, seven, treasurer's report, eight, public comment, nine, unfinished business, 10, new business, 11 is a warrant, 12 is communication, and number 13 is adjournment. And a motion will be in order to accept the regular council meeting agenda as presented. make that motion to accept the agenda as presented support it's been motioned by miss roscoe supported by miss tally for approval as presented miss roscoe yes miss tally yes mr wadsworth yes Webb. miss williams yes miss abdo yes Chair votes yes motion approved Number two are the minutes and for approval are the minutes from the regular council meeting held on September 14th, 2020. Um, Mr. Um, um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll move for the, uh, for the approval of the minutes of the regular council meeting from September the 14th, 2020. Support. In motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo, for approval of the minutes from the regular Meeting held on September 14, 2020. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Webb? Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Double votes yes, motion approved. 2B, for approval are the minutes from the special meetings that were held on September 14th. 2020 at 545 there was a closed session um, special meeting to discuss union matters and at 6 30 p.m there was a study session uh, to discuss the zoning ordinance amendments a motion will be in order to approve the special meeting uh, minutes so move to approve the special meeting minutes <laughs> in motion by Ms. abdo Supported by Ms. Roscoe for approval of the minutes from a special meeting held on September 14, 2020. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Webb? Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. <clears throat> Uh, number three, petitioner, um, if you recall, um, city count, uh, council members at, at the last council mem uh, meeting we had um, as a petitioner, Spartan barricade, um, and um, they were unable to be here. And so they asked that it be placed back on the agenda tonight. We do have representatives here. And what I'd like to do first is just ask if um, Carol Mays can... Um, introduce the speakers that will be presenting with regards to um, this special land use request uh, regarding the Spartan Barricade. Carol? Great, I sure can. And I see a lot of them on there. Good evening, Council, Mayor, Clerk, and Treasurer. Um, 
we're um I'm looking through and I'm seeing Ann Thayer or Karen Thayer. Which one of you are gonna be presenting tonight? <laughs> Brian Fair, I think, present Fair, I think, let's see if they can hear. I'm seeing them on there. Paul, uh, Paul is there as well, as are Patty and Ken. So let's see who's doing the talking. Madam Clerk, can they hear us? I can hear you. Karen, is that you? Great. Yes. Karen, are you going to be presenting? Well, <laughs> what do what do you need um, what do you need me to to talk about? Just to say that um, that we own the building at three zero two one one E Course Road, and that Spartan Barricade is um, a leaser at that facility, and their business is. Um, barricades you know when you're doing road work and they're going to be renting or they they're renting half of the yard space and half of the uh, building space we're going for our CFO at the same time and uh, we're we're moving forward with getting everything ready for the final inspection I don't know what anyone has questions about. Any questions from council? I'm, I'm Mr. Mr. Barton. Mr. Wadsworth. Is this a vacant building that you're gonna redo? No, it's a, a building that's been there since, um, well, we've been there since, it's been there since 1981, but we've been in it since 2007. Okay, fine. Or we've Thank you. owned it for at least that long. Okay, fine. Thank you. Through the chair, Mr. Barton. Yes, Ms. Kelly. Yeah, just a quick question. I just wasn't clear when I was reading through this. It says something about a waiver to the front yard screening requirement. What does that What does that mean? I didn't see any clarification for that in the reading. Ms. Kelly, I can respond to that. Um, because okay. it's an existing site and there's existing landscaping there, they qualified for a waiver that the Planning Commission granted during site plan review. So instead of having to tear out everything that was there and add, add a whole bunch of new landscaping, they received a waiver to use existing, the existing vegetation to screen. The, if you got out to the site, um, when you got in or you can kind of see from the aerial that was in your packet, there are some, there is some equipment and some barricades and some signs and things over to the side, but it's kind of tucked in amongst some vegetation. So it's not visible from the roadway. So let me ask you this. So in there, it says under here, fence, the site includes an existing chain link fence mm -hmm. with barbed wire while non-conforming along Kenwood, it is allowed to remain. Is right. that what we're talking about? Nope, nope. This is the screening, which is vegetation. Okay. The, the fence helps with that. Um, fences, you know, can, can oftentimes help screen and that's part of it it's 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 containing it all in there so the fence definitely contains so yeah i guess you could say that that combination so it's in addition to what they already what's already there that's existing yeah okay okay thank you thank you miss Kelly. any other comments i have a comment go ahead through the chair Ms. Roscoe. Yep, through the chair. I, I just want to state that um, I try to pass this site every single day on my way to work. And um, it's tucked back in there. It's not real visible, especially down that side street with all the vegetation there. And um, from the road, you would hardly know what all they got going on there because because everything's tucked back in there. And, and that's um, to... Uh, relay to Miss Tally, um, that's why they're not tearing out all, everything is because it's already there and mm -hmm. it's, it's grew up and it, it's not bad. So, um, like I said, I drive past there every day and I actually had to look for it because it it's, doesn't just, you know, stick out in your face and say, hey, I'm here. So, um, 
know, I think they're doing the best they can to get it all conformed and get it up to code and, um, you know, so they can be all, you know, have all their ordinances, all their ducks in a row. Okay. Thank no, you for th your thanks, input. Councilwoman. Thanks, Councilwoman Roscoe. Any other questions? Anything else from Council? Uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman? Yes, uh, Mr. Wadsworth? If there are no more questions from my colleagues, I'll move that we um, uh, that uh, we approve a special land request um, for 30211 e course Spartans Barricade. Who <clears throat> supported that? I did. Okay. Roscoe. Okay. It's been motioned by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe for the uh, SLU 2020 002 Spartacus Bridge Barricade. At the 30211 Ecourse Road Special Land Use Request. Ms. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Williams? Ms. Williams? Ms. Webb? Ms. Webb just joined the meeting. Ms. Williams? Ms. Webb? <laughs> Ms. Abdo? Yes. She votes yes, motion approved. Thank you. Thank you. Next on the agenda is uh, number four, chairperson's report. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Uh, at 6.30 p.m., we had a closed session uh, with the attorney opinion. And uh, I don't have too much out tonight, but I just wanted to give a special thanks out to uh, Councilwoman uh, Tally for her efforts in getting the census uh, concern on the, on the good side. So good job, and I, heard, I hope we're still leading uh, pretty good in the race, but uh, I'm sure everybody appreciates the effort of City Council to hurt everybody to join on the census. Good job, and uh, thanks for everything. That's all I have. On the chairperson's report. Sure, I'll make a motion to accept your report. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Talley for approval of the chairperson's report. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Williams? <laughs> Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion approved. Thank you. Before we move on to the mayor's report, I'm gonna ask that uh, Mr. Barton, if you wouldn't mind pulling your microphone a little closer to your mouth, cause you're going in and out. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Let me, let me see how. I, I think you're good. We oh, just, you know what, uh, now you hear me? I hear you great. Oh, because it was up here, like a <laughs> rabbit ear. You know, I'm not used to being a radio. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, thank right. you, Madam Clerk. <laughs> You're welcome. No problem. Okay. Um, okay, that takes us to uh, agenda item number five, the mayor's report. Good evening, City Council, Clerk, Treasurer, and audience. Um, four items tonight, all budget amendments, first three are library, and the last one is public safety. Uh, the first one that you have before you is a um, request to concur the administration and introduce budget amendment 20-21-6. That's to utilize funds from the fiscal year 1920 uh, that were unused due to COVID-19 uh, pandemic, and those were approved by the library board, uh, as you see stated in the motion. Chair? Yes, uh, Ms. Roscoe. I'll make that motion to approve the introduction of budget amendment 20-21-6 in regards to the library board. Support. Support. Who supported that? Ms. Webb? Yes. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Webb, for introduction of budget amendment 20-21-6 for the library. Any discussion? Here, no discussion. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. 
Ms. Williams? Yes. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, the next budget amendment is to uh, concur the administration. It's number 20 slash 21 dash seven. That's to recognize grant revenue and expenditures for grant awarded and approved by the Lock Library Board also, and it has the attached memo. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'll uh, move for introduction of budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash seven for the library funds. Support. In motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo. For introduction of budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash seven, also for library, any discussion? No discussion, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. Thank you, Council. Um, the last one for the library is budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash eight. Uh, that's to recognize uh, grant revenue and expenditures also for grant awarded and approved by the library board with the attached Mr. member. Mr. the chair, I'd like to make that motion to concur with the administration. Okay, Ms. Webb. Support. The motion by Ms. Webb, supported by Ms. Abdo. We're introducing a budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash eight for the library also. Any discussion? No discussion, Ms. Webb. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Ms. Talley. Yes. She have votes yes, motion approved. Thank you, Council. Uh, the last budget amendment, uh, which was presented by Captain Monty, is for uh, public safety. Uh, this is to concur to administration and introduce uh, Amendment 20 slash 21 dash 9. Uh, that's uh, more unspent uh, coronavirus supplemental grant dollars uh, from the fiscal year 1920 uh, over into the 2021 budget. Sure. Yes, um, uh, Ms. Roscoe. I'll make that motion for introduction of budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash 9 in regards to the coronavirus supplemental grant funds. Support. Support. Motion by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Webb. For Introduction of budget amendment 20 slash 21 dash nine. Any discussion? No discussion. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. She have votes yes and motion approved. Thank you, Council. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mayor. That takes us to number six, the clerk's report. Um, we have two action items, um, 6A. Uh, this, we have a study session request from Roberto Scappaticci, uh, DPW director uh, for October the 12th um, at 6.30 p.m. And uh, this is uh, to discuss the Wayne and E-Course intersection improvements and land acquisition. The date and time, um, are both available. Um, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'll move that we uh, schedule a meeting with the DPW uh, director for um, October the 12th at 6.30 p.m. The motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Williams, for a study session with the DPW director for October the 12th at 6.30 p.m. Any discussion on that? And Mr. Barton, uh, yes. through the chair. Uh -huh. uh, now, were we talking about another study session this same night, or am I mistaken? Yes, there, there, yes, there will be a, another study session, but we haven't received the request yet, so we'll work on. Okay, um, because this is an hour. They yeah, say an we'll, hour. We'll coordinate the time. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Ms. Webb. Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Chair votes yes, motion approved. 6B for second reading and final adoption um, is uh, TA 2020-001, 
Article 16, condominiums. Um, this was a zoning ordinance amendment. Um, and the, this was introduced at the regular council meeting of September 14th, 2020. Sure. Yes, Ms. Roscoe. I'll make that motion for second reading and final adoption of TA-2020-001, Article 16 for the condominiums, the zoning ordinance. Support. It's been motioned by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Ms. Webb. Second reading and final adoption of TA-2020-001, Article 16, condominium. Any discussion? <laughs> no discussion. Roll call vote. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Webb? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? No. Ms. Talley? Yes. Ms. Abdo? No. Chair votes yes, motion approved. Okay. Um, that concludes the action items. But before I close out my report, um, I wanna talk about elections. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, a lot of people, we've got a lot of calls and people are concerned about ballots. So just uh, as of today, we have mailed out over 5,000 ballots, absentee ballots between, we started off last Thursday and uh, today we, uh, we've been working all weekend and today we mailed out another 1,900. So a total so far, and we're still receiving a lot of requests that we've mailed out about a little over 5,000 ballots, absentee ballots. Um, we're asking residents to be a little patient. It takes at least about five to seven days, um, to, you know, for it to go through the mail to receive your ballots. Uh, once you receive your ballots and you know who you're voting for, we're asking that you vote that ballot and return it and drop it back in the mail. Um, we have two Dropbox locations. I want to thank uh, Wayne, the Wayne County Commissioners um, for their donation for um, a, a Dropbox. It's, we have a really nice one. It's uh, mounted in front of City Hall. So if you're around, you'll see that nice, big, uh, beautiful uh, Dropbox. And then we have a second location, which is at our Senior Center. So there are two uh, Dropbox locations. Uh, they can, you can drive right up. Um, if you're not, again, if you're not comfortable with putting it in the mail, please utilize the drop box. You also have two drop boxes inside of the building. One, as you walk in, in the foyer area, there's a drop box there. And of course we have one at our counter here, um, at, uh, the clerk's office. Uh, we've had a lot of questions and concerns about Wick Road and, and uh, the polling location at, at Romulus Middle School, um, even at West Village Estates, as to whether or not those polling locations will be open on Election Day. All seven polling locations will be open. All 12 precincts will be open. Uh, polls open at 7 and close at 8 o'clock. Um, shortly, those residents who vote at uh, the Romulus Middle School will receive some uh, a postcard in the mail. It's just kind of reminding everyone and, and giving two um, detour routes to get to um, to the middle school or the polling location there. So um, any other questions you have, if you're not sure, you're still waiting for that ballot. If, if you have not received your ballot by um, Saturday, uh, by next weekend, give us a call. And we can, you know, we'll be able to try to track it and find out what's going on. So there's a lot going on with the elections. Um, finally, if if you want to come in and request a ballot in person, you may do so during our business hours, eight to four o'clock. You're welcome to do that. You, if you know that you did not submit an application um, for uh, an absentee ballot and you decided you want to vote, just you can come in and take your ballot home with you. And again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to call our office. Uh, if, we, if we don't pick up right away, leave a message. We're just really, really busy at the busy time, you know, time right now for us all. But um, again, and thanks for all the support from everyone. And with that, Ms. that Clerk, concludes. Ms. I'm Madam sorry. Clerk, I have one. Yes. Ms. Clerk. Yes. Uh, first of all, I received, my wife and I received our ballots today. Yes. Great. Okay. And then I have one question. I got mine. Yes. I have one question. Uh, I got everything good. I went to the, the, the proposals. Yes. And when they say yes or no, I was eating. 
my food was so good, I, I, I bought both of them. Yes and no. Now, do I turn, that's a spoiled ballot? <laughs> Yes, the sir. It is a spoiled ballot. And uh, <laughs> if you spoil your ballot, you can come into the clerk's office and you can request to have another. We can spoil that ballot, bring it with you, um, and then we can reissue you another ballot. Yeah, that food was so good. I'm sorry. That's okay. It yeah, happens. I, mark, I, I, I mark yes and no after I got through chewing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, through the chair, Miss Clerk, uh -huh. I received yeah. mine today. It was mailed out 924, and I received it today, three days because, you know, the weekend. So great job. That's great. That's great. They, the Good post job. office told us to just at least let people know between 5 and 7. <laughs> if you're getting it early, yeah. that's even wonderful. Yes. Um, also, I, I really want to give uh, kudos to my, my team here at the clerk's office. Um, but to our Romulus post office and their team, Tim, the postmaster, you know, the, the postal workers are getting a really raw deal right now. And you just, there's so much in the media. Um, but I, you know, just our um, post office team here in Romulus, they've been wonderful. We've partnered up and we're working together um, just to ensure, and even in Taylor, we've all been on the phone communicating just to make sure that you, that everyone, you know, is re will receive their ba ballots in a timely manner. So that's great that you received your ballots. I'm real excited about that. Right. If there are no more questions concerning elections, then I'll close out the clerk's report. And that takes us to number seven, the treasurer's report. Good evening, council, mayor, clerk, deputy, deputy clerk and audience. Um, I have a couple items under my agenda this evening. The first one is I wanna remind everyone that um, taxes are due. Wednesday, September 30th. Keep in mind, um, you can pay them at the counter or you can drop them in either of the drop box boxes available, one at the front door or one by the curbside. Um, also, there's ACH. At this point, I wouldn't recommend mailing them um, because they probably will not make, them on, make it on time because it's only two days away. But if you have any questions, you can always call the office at 734-942-7580. And then I wanted to let everyone know that um, there was a div dat machine at the RAC, which is the Romulus Athletic um, Center. And that has been removed and has been relocated to the Wayne Police Department, which is located in Wayne. And that address is 33701 Michigan Ave. Um, and so if anyone would like to pay their delinquent Detroit taxes, DTE bill, um, that would be the closest location. There are several locations, but that is the closest location. So I just wanted to inform the public so that they were aware of that. Um, and that would be it under my report. Thank Take you. Through the chair, Mr. Barton, through the chair. Yes, uh, Ms. Talley. Yes, Stacy, why was, uh, why were they re why was it moved? To be honest with you, I don't know. There was no communication. Um, I was actually notified by a resident. And um, so then we had to do a little bit of hunting to find out that it was moved over to the um, police department. Okay, Okay. thank you. You're welcome. One, la one last question here for you, Stacy. Can you um, read off that address one more time? Certainly. Mm -hmm. That address is 337. 01 Michigan Ave, which is located in Wayne at the Wayne Police Department. Okay, thank you. Um, you're welcome. And I just wanted to um, remind everyone there are several DivDat locations across um, several counties. That is just the closest one, but um, there are others like at CVS or Rite Aid. And um, if, if you have access to the internet, or, or of course, you can always call my office we can locate um, maybe another one that might be more convenient for the customers. Um, that's just the one closest to us, but if you work in a different um, city or county, um, you can give us a call or research it on the internet because they do have a listing of them there. Uh, to the chair, if I may, I have a question for our treasurer. Yes, Ms. Sure. Our contract state that once we terminated that they could remove them immediately? So that DivDat machine was placed over there prior to us looking into getting the one 
in City Hall. Okay. So that that was just one that was available that wasn't really being utilized at its previous location, and the decision was made to move it over to the rack. So there was no contract with that one. It was just basically a courtesy. And at this point, they've moved it. And now it's now it's in Wayne. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. If there are no more questions for our city treasurer, um, that takes us to number eight, public comment. And this is the portion of the meeting for those members of the public uh, wishing to address city council. Um, the raise hand method will be used to identify those wishing to speak. If, you, if you've called in uh, from your phone, press the star nine to raise your hand. And of course, if you join um, via the web, then um, select the uh, raise hand icon. Um, after you've been acknowledged, you will have three minutes to speak and any additional time will be upon the approval of the chairperson. And at this time, as I peruse through, I don't see that anyone um, has requested. I don't see that anyone has requested to speak um, as far as using the raise hand method. And we do not have up, oh, we do have someone. Um, and at this time, let's see, it's the last four digits, um, 8880. And uh, once you've been acknowledged, please state your name um, for the record. Okay, we're gonna ask to unmute. All right, let's see. Come on. All right, you, uh, if, please identify yourself. Hi, my name is Curtis Allen. Can you spell your last name for me, please, for the record? Allen, A-L-L-E-N. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, I have two two questions, if, if that's okay. Um, the first is uh, I've, I've been a resident of Romulus for going on five years now, so I'm fairly new. Um, I've noticed uh, a bunch of companies moving in into the area, Amazon. I think there's a Kroger that's supposed to be opening a fulfillment center. Um, with with all the new business and, and attraction to the area, especially with regard to its vicinity to the airport, is there any incentive for Romulus residents in terms of uh, business initiatives? Um, what we can do, Mr. Allen, um, after you're done with your questions and comments, um, and then we can get someone to answer um, that question for you if they're on the line, okay? Okay. And your second question, sir? Um, the second was just with regard to, uh, I, I guess it would be my subdivision. I'm, I'm on a corner house and there are uh, some pretty heavy weeds that are like on the city side and somebody comes out to do the grass, but nobody ever attends to all, all of these weeds and, and uh, the trees that need to be uh, looked at or replaced. Um, who should I contact to get somebody on the weeds and also a tree that's been knocked down and not replaced? I believe I'm going to um, have you contact the mayor's office um, and then with your contact information and, th and that way they can, you know, direct you, you know, any questions that you have um, they can direct you. I, or we can take your phone number down that you have here and then someone can give you a call. Okay, will that, that works. Will, will, will that work for you? In fact, that might probably be best is to just um, record your phone number that you have listed and then someone will give you a call back to answer um, and address your questions. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Mr. Chair, I do not see any more requests to speak, and we have not received any email comments. Okay, Madam Clerk, we will uh, close the comment section. Number nine is unfinished business. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Mr. Wadsworth. 
if I can, and I would say, I guess this would be for the uh, uh, for the mayor. Mayor, um, I got a call this past weekend from a um, from a Vietnam vet that served in combat, and he's very concerned about when the when the uh, veterans mem a memorial is going to be started and put back up. I'll get the answer for you. And I know there's a committee that's been working on it, uh, Councilman. So I'll, I'll get the specific dates from them and try to get back to all the council. But I know it's a priority um, once we get uh, the building wrapped up. That was the next initiative. Okay, fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there any more unfinished business to this? If not, number 10 is new business. All right, it's going once, going twice. All right, it takes us to number 11, approval of warrant 20-18. Mr. Chair, I make a motion that we pay warrant 20-18 in the following amounts. General fund, $79,024.54. Major Street Fund, $63,172.12. Local Street Fund, $16,228.99. Public Safety Fund, $30,728.98. Street Lighting Fund, $46.27. Community Employee Activity Fund, $113.34. Garbage and Rubbish Collection Fund, $893.40. CDBG, $94.65. Michigan Indigent Defense Fund, $2,800. Uh, 9-11 Service Fund, $140,915.95. NARC Forfeiture for the State, $937.76. Library Fund, $6,514.95. DDA, $3,116.62. TIFA District 2, $39,366.39. Vining Road Extension, E-Course Construction, $390. Water and Sewer Fund, $388,072.31. Motor Vehicle, $49,811.04. Technology Services, $18,790.32. Retiree Insurance Benefits, $1,838.20. Revolving fund, $4,103. Current tax, $12,695.82. Delinquent personal property fund, $148,128.77. All funds totaling $1,007,783.42. Thank you. Support. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, through the chair i was trying to get through the chair just a minute hold on let me uh do this and then i'll get y'all questions hold on then motion by miss abdo supported by miss tally you pay warrant number 20-18 for one million five hundred thirty three thousand two hundred two dollars forty six no that's wrong you don't have the updated one she oh, said they sent us an updated one in our email so the fund is one million seven thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars and forty two cents okay thanks for the update i read the update one not the one that came the well, that was a question that i had through the chair okay. if you don't mind that's that was what i was saying i didn't have the update oh thank amazing. you thank you okay. um kathy thank you any other questions yes okay miss uh miss williams yes i have a question i'm, I'm i was concerned about uh a funder Check number 7291 and 3525 Bibbins, August 14th through September the 14th. Is that the senior center? Does anyone know? You faded out. I couldn't hear what you were saying, Virginia. 36525 Bibbins. I'm asking, is that the senior center? Oh, I don't know if that's the address. Oh, the um, senior center is, is, is 36500, I believe. 36525? So what is that location? Because I'm looking at the bill for, for 1620. I had a resident call it and question that, so I wanted to get that answer. 
Can you buy um, a carriage? I, I would guess it would have to be Councilman Williams, someone from the, I don't know if anyone from the finance department is on um, to answer that, or we can make sure that someone will get that information um, mm -hmm. to you. Is the finance direct, deck director on? I see her picture up. Is that Jessica Cater? No, no, that no. wouldn't be Jessica Cater. Uh, uh, through the chair, um, yeah. Councilwoman Williams, what is the address? 36525 Bivens. Okay, we just looked that up. If I made through the chair, I didn't mean to cut in. That is the address to the senior center. We okay. just looked it up for you. So, so my concern is if the senior center was closed, why would the bill be over 1600 earlier before the new updated warrant or the council? Well, actually, the warrant it was actually $1,883. Now it's 16, a little bit over 1600. So, is the building open or not? Because, how is it? Is DTE overcharging us? Is anybody looking at that? Because if the building is closed, the bill shouldn't, we shouldn't be running a bill for over 1600. Good evening, council. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, so I'm just gonna answer on behalf of DTE. Yes. Okay, so we do review those bills monthly um, and I can look further into it for you. Um, I can assure you that we do um, make sure all the bills that are paid um, are on actual readings. So I can, I don't have the bill in front of me, but I can look at the bill tomorrow and I can get back with an answer to you. Yeah, because, um, you know, my concern as the resident that called me, especially since the building is closed, what would make the bill run that high? 1600. So, so I'm gonna check on the status of um, what the capacity of the senior center is working right now. And again, like I said, I don't want to give you an answer um, without further looking into it. However, I will look when I get in in the morning, I will review the bill. I will check the capacity of what, how the senior center is running and I will get back with you all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, through the chair, Mr. Barton. Yes, uh, Ms. Talley. Yeah, and I've already talked to Maria. The font on the printout we see in our packet is just too small for my age and I, so. Um, and I did talk to her about it, so please help but help me with this font, okay? I'm Thank high. you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ms. Talley. Okay, <laughs> roll call. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Talley? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Williams? No. Ms. Uh, Webb? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Chief votes yes. Ward number 20 18 will be paid. Okay, number 12, uh, it's communication. Go ahead, Gia. No, go ahead. You're always trying to beat me out. Well, no, you go first. <laughs> I went first last time. Somebody night. go first. No, go ahead, Celeste. I'm just teasing. All right, I've got a couple of things tonight. First of all, I want to announce the winners of the Sunflower Growing Contest. Yay. First of all, the one with the largest base uh, of the flower. First place goes to Paul Sutter for 16 inches. Second place goes to Nola Jarski. Um, that was 13 and a half inches. And third place goes to Kim Analek. And that was seven and a half inches. Also, um, the winners of the Sunflower Growing Contest for the tallest sunflower <laughs> goes first place to Paul Sutter for 14 feet, 8 inches. And to second place is Kim Analek with 11 feet and 3 inches. So congratulations for, for that. That's always fun. Yay. Um, got some other things coming up because we're still trying to do some of our contests, you know, our fall things that we do even though we didn't have the pumpkin festival. And uh, what we have going on right now is we have the cutest baby and the cutest pet. And <laughs> you know, our pets are like our babies. So there you go. <laughs> so the deadline to submit your photos is October 9th and you submit them to 
Mary Druyer, which is M D R U Y O R at RomulusGov.com. And the photo album will be created and shared on the downtown Romulus page. And the top three vote getters will be awarded a prize. <laughs> also, they're having the fall harvest porch decorating contest. And the deadline for that is October 15th. And uh, again, you want to um, send your photos to Mary Druyer and uh, the top three uh, vote getters will be awarded a prize. And that too will be on the downtown Romulus Facebook page. And, you know, people can go on there and vote and what have you. And I encourage you to do that. That's always, you know, uh, a diversion and, and lots of fun. Good. And the last thing I have tonight is the Romulus Art Council um, Fall Art Contest, which we all know usually is on our Pumpkin Festival book. You know, the winner usually is on the front cover and so on and so forth. Well, this year they're still um, asking you to send your photos and your, your paintings or um, I should say your art. And the deadline to submit the pictures is October 23rd. And you need to send them to the Community Development Department. And cash prizes will be awarded to the first through the fifth place. And if you don't know exactly where to bring that, you can always bring it in the city hall and they'll get you to the right department to um, drop those art uh, creations off. And that's all I have tonight. And I'll turn it over to you, Tina. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Celeste. And before sir the bins, can we show our shirts, please? This is the, this is the last time. I need everybody mm -hmm. to show their shirts, please. Be counted. Be counted. Be counted. Be counted. I know everybody would be um, glad that this is over. Um, I, I just want to thank you all for bearing with me. I know it's been long hearing me talk about the census, but, you know, first shout out to Mr. Barton. Thank you for that acknowledgement. But I do want to say that, you know, teamwork makes the dream work, you know, and you, you guys stuck with me with this. I thank you for that. I thank you for the community for sticking with me. I know you got tired of hearing my mouth, but you stuck with me and everybody stuck. We're a team. So teamwork makes the dream work. Thank you. Um, we didn't probably get where we should be, but we did very well overall. So for that, you know, what can you say? We did very well. So thanks everybody for, we still got two more days though. Let's keep in mind, we still got two more days. So um, if you haven't, just put it out there, but just want to say thank you to everybody for your efforts. Um, it was a great, tremendous run. Um, and prayerfully, if God is willing, we'll be here for the ne next tenure when it comes up again. And then lastly, um, just the Ministerial Alliance, we have been doing pop-up prayers for the last several weeks. We will be on 4th Street in the Beverly Road, not Beverly Road, but more so the 4th Street area um, near um, Community, uh, uh, community uh, Romans Community Baptist Church in that area for pop-up prayer this week. So if you need some prayer, come on, drop by. We start at 6 p.m. on this Thursday. And thanks, everybody, for your support. That's all I have. Thank you. I have one more thing. Um, Mr. Chair, yes, uh -huh. which is important. This coming weekend, um, there's going to be a tournament, the Cornhole tur okay. Tournament, and that uh, benefits our seniors that are in need, um, our low-income seniors with uh, food vouchers and gift cards when Christmas time comes around. And that is this weekend, October 3rd. They're holding that at Blue Sky at 12 o'clock and Blue Sky is on Heron River Drive and Eureka right there on the corner. And for some reason, if it rains, they're gonna be at the Historical Park Pavilion. If you're not interested in being in the tournament, you can always make donations, which will always be accepted. It, it will be so helpful. Um, if you need more information, you want to register a, a team or, or however they're gonna do that, it's like $15 per person to you need the pre-registered is encouraged and i'm gonna give you phone numbers you can call uh 734-955-4120 or 955-4533 and um you know get more information on uh how to sign up but if i was you if you want to play if you want to sign up be there a little bit before noon so you can get your name on the list and um come out and have a good time no, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, Celeste. Do the chair, if I may, I have a quick question. I believe Carol is probably still on the line, but if not, I'm sure um, 
um, Mayor Pro Tem can answer this. I could not get in to the regular meeting timely. And I don't know what happened to the petitioner, uh, Spartan Barricade. Okay. Uh, uh, what Ms. went on with that? What was the vote? I don't know. I think Carol Mays is probably still online. She's probably on mute, but she, I think she's still online. Sure, I can answer that. They were they were approved. Council had a few oh, good questions for good. them. They did okay. receive their approval. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Miss yeah. Webb, I think uh, Wadsworth had a, a couple of uh, problems getting in too, so I think that worked out okay though. Okay, good, good. Okay. To the chair. Yes, uh, Mr. Wadsworth. Oh, oh I, I'm I, sorry, I, Ms. Uh, Ms. Webb, was you finished? Yes, I'm finished. Okay, Mr. Was, Ms. Oh. Um, If I could, um, St. Alan Wishes of Catholic Church um, th this weekend, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, is having a white elephant sale um, on the grounds there, and there's lots of stuff there to buy. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wadsworth. Who else had the hand up? It was Councilwoman Williams. Ms. Williams? Yes. Go ahead. I'm, I would like to ask the council to uh, approve two resolutions, one for Anita Green, lifelong resident, and also one for Diane Mayweather. Uh, Mayweather, uh, Mr. Mayweather worked with uh, our, our Romney School District for many, many years. He lost his wife. I uh, would ask the council uh, to uh, please uh, support a resolution for both residents. So Ms. moved. Ms. Williams, uh, was that a uh... Mr. Mayor, where we used to be the athletic director's wife? Yes, yes, wow. it's, it's okay. his wife. Wow. Okay. Uh, That's not Ches she, Merriweather, is yeah. it? Yes. Oh, okay. wow. How oh, oh, sad. Okay. On the first resolution, that's uh, Ms. Green. Who who made that motion? I did, John. Oh, okay. Or. Okay. The motion by Ms. Webb, supported by Ms. Abdo. No, Miss Williams. No, Miss okay. Williams made the motion. I Eva supported it. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's been motion by Miss Williams, supported by Miss Webb, for resolution for Miss Green. Miss Williams. Yes. Miss Webb. Yes. Uh, Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Miss Sally. Yes. Miss Roscoe. Miss Roscoe. Miss yes. Abdo. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Chair votes yes. The motion is approved. And I'll second the uh, motion for Miss Diane Fairweather. I couldn't hear the the motion. Of, who who made that motion? Councilwoman Williams made the motion. Okay. I supported it. Okay. Motion by Ms. Williams, supported by Ms. Webb for Ms. Mayweather. Ms. Williams. Yes. Ms. Webb. Yes. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Kelly. Yes. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Yes. Abdo. Yes. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Yes. <laughs> chair votes yes. Motion approved. Yes. Also, uh, chair. Chair. Yes. Also, uh, chair. Chair. Yes. yes. Uh, Ms. Williams. Yes. Chair. Yes. 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 I would also like to inform the resident. I really appreciate the support of the city and all the elected officials. Since April, Forgotten Harvest came in and has been feeding the residents and those neighboring residents. Our uh, last. Tuesday was our last uh, distribution. We're working with um, uh, the mayor's chief of staff, Julie Watoke, and also Maria Lambert to look for another location because eventually soon the school was getting ready to uh, be in need of their uh, parking lot. So uh, as of last Tuesday, that was the last date for Forgotten Harvest uh, at the Ramos High School. So thank everyone for the long tiring support and help that they have given um, to us and uh, making sure we feed our resident. Thank you. Uh, any more uh, communications? I have a communication. Does anyone, anyone know, uh, uh, 
did the Lions win? <laughs> Does anybody know that? You know they won. Oh, thank Don't you. Brag. Oh, oh, Don't thank, brag, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you, Miss <laughs> I, I have I, no I, comment. I okay. <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. If there's no more communication, takes us to number 13, adjournment. So moved. Support. It's motion by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Webb for adjournment. Mr. Wadsworth. Yes. Ms. Webb. Yes. Ms. Williams. Yes. Ms. Roscoe. Ms. Roscoe. Yes. Ms. Talley. Yes. Yes. Ms. Abdo. Yes. Chef Bosch, yes, we are adjourned. Thank you.